basic climbing techniques for newbies on insane slopes today we're going to mount banoy the second hardest climb in batangas city we start at pontefino hotel that is about uh, 16 kilometers very doable not too far and then from the main highway we reach the 2600 foot cellular tower and the total climb is 5.2 kilometers 5.2 is the hardest part of the climb these roads are just fairly new two years old and uh, it's very evident from the brand new asphalt and brand new cement. It used to be a very popular downhill mountain bike track. So imagine a downhill track being converted into an uphill road bike route. Not so popular yet, but we've seen a lot of people coming here because on low cloud conditions, the summit literally disappears. It's almost like you're in Tagaytay or in Baguio. So they call this the mini Tagaytay of Batangas City and you'll not you won't be disappointed. The lush vegetation surrounds the whole route all the way going up, making for a very cool, scenic experience, especially if you're brand new here. And coming up, you won't be disappointed because there are stores now that you can stop. But unfortunately, the final kilometers is really the most mentally agonizing. When I say mentally agonizing, you just want to stop and stop at the store. So, we're going to start our show on the final 5.2 kilometers of the climb where we start uh, experiencing 13 to 29 percent grades. Okay, okay. so uh, the other skill that you might want to uh, learn is how to stand up when you're climbing. Usually, we stand up when you just want to stretch your back, you want to open the lungs. So, now I'm going to go to the big ring just to add a little bit more pressure. So when you stand up, there you go. Try not to go too forward like this, okay? If you go too forward like this, your triceps will get tired. Instead, shift your weight backward. There you go. It's like you're just floating. Let the bike swing from side to side. But keep your body steady there you go so while you're doing this when the left leg is pushing down the left arm is pulling up the bars when the right leg is pushing down the right hand is pulling up on the handlebar so it's literally like a counter torque to produce more torque on the pedals and then, when you want to sprint, all you got to do is start to move around like this. Just put a little bit more power, just like this. So I'm going to accelerate now. Three, two, go. Sustaining the acceleration will be very difficult if you keep doing a lot of unnecessary movements. So to focus all the torque on the pedals, you can swing the bike from side to side. but. Be very conscious on keeping your upper body and head stable. The more that you stabilize the center of uh, the body, then you can concentrate all the stress on your abdomen, oblique muscles. Welcome to Banoy. And to perfect this process, you have to be very patient in focusing on your posture whenever you have the chance. So that's uh, pulling down on the handlebar, squeezing your elbows, using your core muscles. So this is the final 15 meters. I think, what's this, 29%? 29% grade is so steep that the bike stops every pedal stroke. If you don't keep on going, this is when you stall or you crash. You have to do this in sequence. When your left hand is pulling up, the left leg is pushing down. And at the same time, the right leg is lifting up. You would clearly see here how the biceps and the triceps have to work in sync with your legs to have a very balanced straight climb instead of zigzagging. How are you? Oh my gosh. That's, that's a only a home. For sure. Yeah, the view is spectacular. Mount Manoy is so accessible from the main highway, I think this is one of the biggest draw why this would be a very popular 
training ground for most uh, experienced cyclists. And uh, the proximity from the city plus the uh, steady gradients really helps in helping the more advanced biker to really focus on your technique and posture. It's not too long, the climb is not too long. It's just 5.2 kilometers from the bottom. But the gradients are steep enough to really give you a really good challenge. What we like about these types of climbing is that if your posture is wrong, it will be amplified. If your posture and technique is correct, it will also be amplified. So if you do this just twice or three times a week, it's worth it, better than doing a 100 kilometer ride. So I guess the finish line is this basketball court. Welcome to Mount Banoy. And of course, whatever goes uphill, well, we gotta go downhill. Going downhill on this uh, very steep slope is very sketchy, to say the least. And uh, if you're not really a skilled rider, uh, we really suggest that you try to refrain from going too fast. Rim brakes, I've seen a lot of rims warp from too much braking and this is the primary reason why we have to put all the weight at the back because like a motorcycle, the weight of a motorcycle, the way the engineer designs it is that the engine and all the weight is at the back to make sure that the stability of the bike is very well controlled. You can also notice that in a motorcycle, the disc brake is so much larger in the front because this allows you to get the maximum stopping power but all the weight is at the back to make sure that you don't flip over the bars and we only do this when our speed exceeds 70 sometimes 80 kilometers per hour and in the Philippines because we're not on closed roads we have to have the ability to brake anytime we want without flipping over so this is just really basic physics. The lower your center of gravity, the more stable the bike becomes. The uh, more weight at the back makes your bike become more stable. Now when you get on the flatter roads on our way home, to go faster at a manageable effort, all you gotta do is just to make your frontal surface area as small as possible. And this is when we start using our hoods, the way the bikes are fitted, very specific to the way you will be riding. So when you have a chance to get uh, a talk with your local bike fitter, discuss to him how you would be riding. And all this stuff that we did the whole day stops at the coffee shop and uh, we get a chance to be with Mike. He's the one who took us for a drive. Ellie, of course, he's the one that uh, guided us. You guys are rocking, huh? That was solid. That was solid. And just like uh, tradition, we uh, provide free learning talks and lectures to anyone who just want to join us for coffee. There's no fee about this. Uh, we just feel like sharing ideas, experiences uh, is a way to go when you want to build a community. Of course, we want to thank everyone again. Okay, I'm just going to disturb uh, everyone's talking about war stories, you know, the day after. The day after is always a, uh, a tradition by all cyclists wherein they've been biking all their lives and all they talk about is still biking. <laughs> all the time, upgrades, biking, upgrades uh, every day. But I want to give special mention to our group over here. <laughs> this is their group. Team, team Hopia. Hopia Everest. So Team Hopia Everesting are the people who are addicted to just climbing and climbing and climbing. I'm addicted to being a social climber. <laughs> uh, but, it still works. Uh, yeah, special thanks to everyone, Batanga City, for giving us a beautiful time. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed uh, the episode today. And our film director that rivals Oppenheimer is Dennis. <laughs> Danny, 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 Danny! Danny. 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 I, I, you, know, you know the reason why I almost call, call him Dennis instead of Danny? Because he's like a Dennis the Menace. <laughs> okay, saw, thank you. That's Michael. Zeus. Zeus. This is Ellie. <laughs> Joseph. Probably been eating rice. So yeah, I love, I love eating rice. This is like two kilos. Two, two kilos, kilos, right? Two kilos. <laughs> I love it. See, simple stuff like this puts a smile on our faces. And then, and